Well, so what do you think uh, the Vice President Kamala Harris needs to accomplish in her speech tonight? Look, this is an opportunity for people to see the woman that I have seen behind closed doors. Uh, someone who's compassionate, someone who understands that a democratic coalition that has all voices at the table is how we're able to get things done. And that someone who is serious about making sure that everyday Americans understand that under her leadership, their life will be better because she will fight like hell to make sure that they have access to housing, right? They can buy their home, that they won't have to continue to figure out how much longer can this little junk car make it before I have to go and try to deal with these interest rates. And I think it's also an opportunity to be able to see a woman who is a daughter of immigrants, uh, who has contributed to this country in so many ways, lean in to her identity as part of a strength and not a as part of something that becomes divisive. We have an opportunity to unify this nation in a time where you are seeing the most divisive, hateful rhetoric you've ever seen. And I think that Vice President President Kamala Harris has the ability to do that. What, and just tell me quickly, what does it mean to you to have the DNC here in Chicago? Look, I am a daughter of this city. I'm a daughter of immigrants. And to be able to have the DNC in one of the most diverse, beautiful cities, which, by the way, we gave you really good weather as well, I think it's really telling about who we are and where we're headed. We want to lean in into our diversity. We want to lean in in this opportunity to have all of us heard. And that also includes Palestinians. And we want to be able to lean in in this ability to say that we're going to work really hard so that people that are in this place have the resources they need. And it's really exciting to be able to showcase the beautiful city, all of its restaurants and all of its museums and all of its venues. And to show, for me, that a progressive mayor, a progressive uh, congresswoman are welcoming everyone to the DNC and you're seeing it to be a great opportunity instead of just trying to live into 1968. Thank you so much.